memories. I remember when I stood in Hyde Park in the news on a plinth pretending to be a monument to extreme physical beauty and young maidens in floods would pass by pointing at my member and whimpering to their guardians, ooh, is that what it looks like? And their guardians would reply, alas, no, that is an exaggeration. And that, that's what I call a clitoris. Michael Bartello, the rumours continue, um, nevertheless, um, back to proper news, uh, news, 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 that's not news, this is news. The Church of England. A church of one. What we do in my church is pretend to be Jesus. Makes us different from the other churches who basically point at him and go, he was a good bloke. <laughs> in my church, we pretend to be Jesus. Gets on people's nerves a bit, but that's all right. So did he. How do you think he ended up here? Winning a popularity contest? I don't think so. He wasn't a popular man at the time of his death, clearly. And look what they wrote above him, Rex. I wouldn't call my bloody dog Rex. And the word on the street is, I smell. I smell. Oh, ladies, when you are staring at the mirror in despair and none of your clothes seem appropriate, don't worry, relax. Put the kettle on. It might suit you. In any case, when one is wearing a kettle, the rest of one's clothes seldom attract comment. Beware the smile of the waiter. It means he has pissed in your soup. And when I observe such a smile, what do I do? I drink the soup. I drink the soup. Yes. And then, pronounce it. The best soup. I have ever tasted. And watch as his smile turns to tears. Thus I win. Now, whatever it says in the Bible, the truth remains. You can read the Bible and dismiss it as nonsense, if you like. You can dismiss it as nonsense without reading it to save time, if you prefer. And that's the route I've chosen. <laughs> now, the message of Christ is a simple one. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> As any boxer will tell you, it's not what you dish out that matters, it's what you can take. And could this guy take a punch or what? He said to the world, come on then hit me. The world being the world did. And by the act of hardness, he redeemed mankind. <laughs> now, my relationship to Jesus is very similar to the relationship between Bjorn again and Abba. I'm a big fan of his, and if I can make a living pretending to be him, so be it. <laughs> now, Jesus said, for example, give all your money to the poor. That is what, incidentally, why I'm speaking in a Michael Caine type voice, because that is how Jesus used to speak, except in Hebrew. <laughs> the point is, he did not speak like a bloody vicar. He was a bloke, and he went, oi, give all your money to the poor. Not some of it, now and then, all of it, right now. And that's what I do. I give all my money to the poor in exchange for drugs. <laughs> they get the money and the feeling of having a worthwhile job. <laughs> now, some people don't like talk about drugs. None of my friends, or dealers, as they prefer to be called, <laughs> worry about that at all. And when I say drugs, I don't mean marijuana. That is not drugs. That is what you take when you're waiting for the bloody drugs to wear off. <laughs> Let it be soon.
Hello? Lesbians. What do they do exactly? What did the Australians say at the South Pole? <laughs> Partly because of the temperature, it's very cold. Also, because the Australians have an approach to language which is at the same time minimal and minimalist. They haven't got much language and they're very happy that way. <laughs> in Australia, the Macquarie Dictionary Company, the sole manufacturers of Australian dictionaries, are not in fact dictionary manufacturers at all. What they do is import English dictionaries and then do some crossing out. No worries, they say in Australia. In Canada, no problem. In London, we say no. <laughs> if you wish to speak in an Australian accent, it's very easy. Simply speak as if you expect to be mocked. This is the world's only artificial accent. It was created in 1854 in a laboratory in Perth as a form of vocal branding. have the potential to kill you. Why die from a disease when there's bus drivers who won't acknowledge zebra crossings? Elsker, Elsker, read all about it. Just like the old one, but affects a different part of your body. Okay, love, rub an ointment. Do what you will, but you can't escape it. Once we've had the final one and the wall wipes off the face of the earth, germs will survive. And why? Because they know that they can use rats as little f***ing bussies. Rats and cockroaches and germs will survive. We won't. So stop defying nature and stop trying to get your hair back once you've balled it. Just accept that diseases go round and round. It works in the fashion, like, like a circle. Jeff Banks is off the telly. He's on the telly. Germs, you're sick, then you're well. What can you do? What you can do, don't challenge it. There's a germ, it's in your area. If you haven't caught it, go clubbing. If you have caught it, don't be so selfish and stay at home. Once I was staring at a beautiful painting. I'm sorry, did I say painting? I meant mirror when I had an experience which I can only describe as wah. I'd taken my usual combination of drugs, aspirin for my stomach, alcohol for my spirit, cocaine for my timidity, placebos for my hypochondria, and I had been talking to myself. I'd been discussing with myself the merits of mirrors. What was it about them that made ladies so attracted to them? Whether or not it was worth replacing the magnets on my cloak with mirrors, that sort of thing. And then suddenly, on the third hour, I had a strange sensation. It was as if I was being heard, heard, listened to. It's not a sensation I was accustomed to. Oh no, when one casts pearls before swine, one expects the pigs to grunt occasionally, but listen, no. I do not expect people to listen. One cannot expect dwarves to cue for the rack. Heard, moreover, by a higher being. That is to say, a being higher than myself. It was hard to imagine, what could it be? Could it be, perhaps, my reflection? No. No, my reflection was not as handsome nor as intelligent as I, and moreover, was left-handed. It could not be a higher being. Therefore, I was left with only one possible conclusion. I felt very humble, yet proud. 